Fun Home, Alison Bechtel's autobiographical tale of growing up with her funeral director, Dad, has made the move uptown after a successful run at the Public Theater. We're here for an open house at the Circle in the Square Theater to find out everything about this new Broadway musical. Wow, Fun Home on Broadway. Are you excited to bring this show to Broadway? Yeah, I'm a little excited, yes. So I got to see you do this show off Broadway and you were wonderful. What do you love about Fun Home? Um, I love this story. I think the story is amazing. Alison Bechtel is sort of a famous lesbian cartoonist and she wrote this graphic novel of the, the, the most, most famous <laughs> lesbian cartoonist, indeed, yes. Alison Bechtel wrote this sort of beautiful graphic novel about her coming out, about her family, about her dad. What about this story spoke to you? Being a child of the 70s and of, of the Poppomatic uh, generation, I always wanted to write a piece about this. And I, I like writing about fa fathers and daughters. It's called Fun Home, but there's a huge casket in the middle of the stage, so I think it's a little ironic. <laughs> it's very ironic um, that the, uh, the Bechtel family called the funeral home, which Bruce Bechtel ran, he was the town undertaker, um, the Fun Home. There's a lot of things going on in this show. Yes, there's a lot. There's a coffin. Um, there's a coming out scene. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of secrets, family secrets? There's a lot of family secrets. Ghosts in the closets. Ghosts in the coffins. You're playing Alison Bechtel, who is a cartoonist, and it's sort of she's, she's sort of telling her story of her family and her childhood, right? Yeah, she's going back and sort of excavating all these memories that have um, you know, she, she's a meticulous saver of artifacts from her own childhood. So she goes through these boxes and tries to reconstruct um, a timeline of her childhood to try to put together what happened to her father. We get to see adult Allison sit at her drawing table and start actually drawing the novel and then the life sort of, her life sort of comes back. Right, right, right. Yeah, that was creating that character, which, you know, there's no fun home without that. Voice. It's cool because it's a memory play, so these things are happening around her, um, and she's creating them, but they're also happening in ways that she can't control. So she'll be sitting at her desk and trying to create a, a cell, but a memory will just fly by her and take her on a journey, and it's really very cool. For a lot of the show, we're in a house in the 70s. You're a dad raising kids, but it's not the Brady Bunch. You're not Mr. Brady, although maybe you are. Oh, well, maybe maybe there's more we have to learn about Mr. Brady. <laughs> maybe it starts here. I think it tells a really profound story that everybody can relate to because everybody has a family, you know? And we all come from families that are functional and dysfunctional in their own ways. And it's really about love and forgiveness. It wasn't all that fun to be in the Bechtel household as a, a you know 1977 growing up you know there was a lot of repression and a lot of shame and the message in Fun Home is shame is destructive. Uh, truth is empowering. How does it feel to be bringing this show to Broadway? I mean it's such a cool show to have on the Broadway landscape. It is, it is, because it, I think it is wholly original. It is not like anything else I've ever seen or anything I've ever been in. Um, I do think the world is really ready and ripe for this story and the way it's being told. But let's face it, it's not every day we get a Broadway musical with an awesome lesbian role model. <laughs> not every day, no, I don't, I'm trying to think what's the last, what has there ever been one? happened? <laughs> I'm really excited to be bringing something that feels so human scale as this show. It's. Um, I think it's sort of furthering the kind of writers who wanted to bring musical theater, um, you know, into a more intimate kind of place. Uh, and, and to do that, it's one thing to do that downtown, where at the public it felt absolutely natural and, and right, to try to create that uptown without compromising on on what all that Broadway is, but to also say it can also be this, and I think that's exciting.